got three games left, got a veteran quarterback, and who knows what he's thinking about next year. And who knows what Scott Frost is thinking about whether he's, if he's the head coach in 2022, what he thinks about Adrian Martinez being the quarterback. Um, I don't think there's any question hmm, that, that he's the best quarterback on the roster. Yeah. But do you play him the last three games? Do you, do you honor his career and say you're playing the last three games because we wanted because you've earned it? You're our guy, and by you know a hundred times more about it than I do because I just watch the games and read as much as I can. But you're there, and you know how much Adrian Martinez is, is loved and respected by his teammates, by his coaches, everything. Um, you know, he's laid it all out in the field. Nobody can knock this guy for his uh, effort and everything that he's done for his teammates in his school. Uh, but in regards to preparing for next year, and if there's a viable quarterback for next year, and I guess that would be Logan Smothers, that would be tremendous game experience to get him leading into next year against three great teams. Yeah, um, it just kind of goes back to if Logan Smothers was, uh, you know, if he was winning the the job in practice uh, during the week, I, I would say, yeah, that's that would be great. Um, but you know, he's the backup for a reason. Um, and do you really want to? Uh, he, he's oh, he. You got to think about it too that uh, he's played in four games already. Um, Scott Frost was asked this today that, uh, you know, do, do you not play him anymore, you know, and, and redshirt him. But Scott Frost said, no, that's not in the plan at all because he is the number two guy. Clearly, he is the number two. And, um, you know, he needs to be ready to go at a moment's notice if Martinez goes down. So, um, yeah, in a perfect world, you, would, you might think that if you knew that Adrian Martinez was a, a lock not to come back for, for a sixth year. Crazy to say that, but um, uh, that, that's definitely a possibility. And also, Scott Frost all of a sudden is coaching for his job, quite frankly. Uh, you know, a, a vast turnaround. And, you know, three weeks ago when people, you know, we, we've dealt with this question for so long about is Frost – on the hot seat or not, but, uh, yeah, after these last two games, uh, Trev Alvarez has, has a lot on his plate right now. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes right now. Um, you know, and, and Trev was not at the game Saturday. He, he was at his son's wedding, which obviously was scheduled way in advance of Trev taking the job here at Nebraska. So, uh, that's a little bit more important. Um, but, uh, you know, coach Frost was asked if he had talked to, to, Trev Alberts, and he did say that uh, they talked on Sunday, um, and you know he 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 was asked if uh, if Trev was on the same page as as he was, and he 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 dodged answering that part of the question, and you know anything about what they talked about or anything like that. So um, yeah, there's there's a lot going on to answer your question, you know, to answer that question about Logan Smothers right now, and I think that. uh, also, do you really want to throw him in there as a, his first time starting against Ohio State as well? I mean, yeah, that's kind of a scary thought right there, too. Appreciate everybody being here. Please leave your comments and your questions. And uh, thank you so much for being flexible. And uh, one of the big reasons why we ask that you would uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for the notifications to know when we go live. So here's my thought here about being the AD, and you set it up perfectly. It is not an easy job. And what probably in this situation may make it more difficult is it's one thing if, okay, this is the head coach. We don't believe in him. He's proven he can't do the job. We're done with him. We're going to fire him. That's still, it's never, for for any person who's got blood running through their veins uh, that has any ounce of of humanity it's not fun firing anyone. Um, but on top of that, I got to think, let's say Trev Alberts believes in Scott Frost, regardless of wins, losses, what's going on, what the fan base thinks, that he believes he's still the right guy. It's got to be tough to think, okay, at what point do I you know, cut bait and run 
because you got to start all over. You got to start all over with a new coach. Who knows if your new coach is going to be any better? Who's it going to be? Versus at what point do you just continue the next year, the next year, the next year, hoping things are going to get better and they're going to turn the corner when you've got indication that it's going to turn the corner, but it's not. Yeah. And you know, it's, you know, every time uh, we hear from coach Frost, it's the same thing as we're close. We're so close. Um, and it sounds like a, the same old broken record over and over. And, you know, I, I don't know if you were aware or not, but uh, Coach Frost did not even address the team after the loss against Purdue. Uh, he let the captains do that. Um, so clearly the team's not uh, responding to him um, the way that, uh, you know, things are supposed to be done in a locker room. So there's so many factors that go into that. And, and Trev Alberts also has to think about, uh, you know, a big thing is preserving that sellout streak that's been going on, you know, for 50 some years. And um, that's, that's a big key here. And then, um, you know, just with, with, with four weeks left in the season, three games, four weeks, um, you know, what happens if they do end up uh, winning out and um, you've already made up your mind before these last three games of what you have to do. And I, I mean, yeah, you, you just, Oh God, it, it's, it's just got to keep him up, you know, all night, every night right now. Um, and, you know, a, a thing too, is that, uh, you know, you've heard, well, at least coach Frost, uh, you know, always has, you know, tried to preach that it takes five years. Um, you know, you need five years just because of how bad of a state uh, the program is when it was in when he took over. And, um, you know, four years and things haven't gotten any better. And you're sitting at three and six and, you know, with three ranked teams left to play. And, and if, you know, if you end up three and nine, I, I don't, I don't see how, uh, really how Scott Frost keeps his job uh, at this point, no matter how beloved he is. And, and um, the produce, the wins just aren't coming. And, you know, everybody knows that the wins are a cure-all. And, um, you know, how many times are you going to, you know, be in a, in, in a one-score game and, and not be able to, to get over that hump? Um, and it's got to be devastating for, I mean – for the players, especially like an Adrian Martinez, who, like you said, you know, has poured his heart and soul into, you know, being the quarterback here at Nebraska. And, and even if he has an opportunity to come back for another year, why would he want to, if he's going to, you know, I mean, yeah, being the quarterback, you're going to take the brunt of the, of the blame and you're going to take the, the, the brunt of the, of the, the praise. Um, that's just the way it goes. And, you know, to, to end up with a, a overall record that they might end up with uh, under Adrian Martinez as the starting quarterback is that why would you want to come back and, and, and you know, have to take all that again? I, I don't know. It, it's There's just so many things to, uh, to digest uh, with what's going on here in Lincoln right now.